This conference will now be recorded. We wait for almost uh, five minutes and uh, still attain students are joined. We wait another one minute and we'll start this session. Right. So first up, we discuss first up we discuss on uh, for loop, while loop, and graphical uh, some representation uh, graph representation. Now, second half, we discuss switch case, app, and if else statement. So, this part we conduct today. Next, uh, tomorrow, we go with graphical user interface. We take one session, two sessions on graphical user interface and that actually help you to implement your projects to actually go with the coding best practice. And uh, next, uh, another sessions on image processing. And last day, you need to go with presentation and exam and few of the topics, advanced topics with cover. So today we're going to start first switch case. Then we go with the if else statement. So, I request all of you, please practice the things, whatever we covered till now. We covered how to solve the equation and how to plot a graph. Differentiation, integration, calculus, limit. Algebraic equation solving, everything we already go with. 2D and 3D graph that also we discussed. 
we discuss matrix operations so please practice is all the things and again i request all of you that the first up only one group showcase their assignment one group already inform me they will submit it by next class rest of the four batches students please confirm that you can able to submit these things number of students not attending the stations at the time of attendance they will join please don't do these things join on time give proper attendance because as i know that uh, observe this this is actually 15 students are there out of 32 so i request inform all of your friends to join this session as early as possible if you have any doubt any query problem with understanding ask me again and again we help you to solve the issue so let's stay <coughs> go with the things let's start the session today mm. so first thing is that switch case so switch and then uh, what actually actions we need to take depending upon what how we mention here e so depending upon a statement a value we switch between number of operations so when we go to any programming language we have a control statement and loop <coughs> so we already check when we go with a loop there is a <coughs> while loop and for loop option is there whatever the tasks we implement using follow that we can implement using while loop number of cases when we want to perform a repetitive actions we execute while loop in matlab other cases we know when we consider the c c plus plus or other programming language for loop also have the same options we use for loop for do that so for loop and while loop both the loop we use to take an action right how we want to execute the task to go with that we go with the for loop and while loop now We need to go with the control statement control statement means if these things happen then do that task if that things happen go with that task so switch is we use for control statement purpose and if else loop we also use switch means we want to switch between the operations means suppose we want to perform some task based on user input so number of uh, list of tasks are there if a uh, user input user provider some input for specific tasks we want to go with that task only is that a clear switch case so switch a and we assign the value a from user input and whatever the value is there depending upon that it will return the answer so what are the options are there case one so if we get a case one we write the thing display something so this is what actually task it perform so k 
case one reply that task one suppose case two this way we uh, write a n number of cases so n number of cases we may write and when to end this case which case with this end statement this is it clear end of a switch case end of a switch case so within a if we want to provide a user input so what we need to write a equals to in Input. Is it a command? We need to write to get an input. So this is clear things. So now if I run these things. If I go with the case one, it's written task one. If I go with the case two, it obviously written task two. Right, so this is a clear switch case. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So, can we write a code uh, using this to add two number? So, we want to do the thing. We want to perform mathematical operations of a two variables. If someone hit on one, it's add two number. Someone hit on two, it's a subtract two number. So this way, so depending upon switch case, it will perform the mathematical operations. So can you to write the code for this? Can you try? So using switch case, we need to perform four operations. When someone click on one, then add two number. When someone put an input two, it's subtract two number. When someone put the input three, it divide two number. When someone provide input four, it multiply two number. So I give five minutes time. Please revert back to me.
yeah so someone already completed the task already shared show metro already shared these things yeah so switch a case one case two case three case four so uh, the thing is that okay let's uh, run this way so same code we try to write uh, So as for show home, what he written, that thing I try to write, let's check what happened. So uh, one problem is there, if you write this V, input, enter the number, that actually A, and two values, A plus B. So we also additionally need to add, to provide the two inputs. So here first things we need to write enter the first operation operation type of operation for plus you need to enter one for minus you need to enter two so this way we need to write the things and it take an input. Then we need to take C and D because uh, we can't add, add uh, two number this way. Right. So this should be C and D. Or uh, E, F, B, C, but uh, the bus would be same. So this is the first mistake. So next thing is that if we run this code what happened let's run this code sorry here uh, c means instead the first number first number and this one is the second number So we're going to <coughs> add two number, right one. First number 23, second number 43. Let's provide the answer 66. So same way, we add another two operations. So for division three, for multiplication four. So this way we need to write the code. And again, now if I write the code, but here we provide something else, six. So what happened? Let's not provide the result, but we don't understand what happened to it. So we want to mention something if uh, choice properly not chosen we want to display something so how we write this thing for this we again add another case that is other wise if this case is not possible otherwise display Two means uh, invalid option, right? So otherwise is there for any other cases. So we already have a case defined one, two, three, four. If I go with a, any other undefined case, it's showing this invalid op option. 
Now, if I put here, suppose eight, it show you. Uh, okay, it's showing you the value, but uh, after that, it will return you invalid option. Right. So check these things. Uh, confirm me if you understand it or not. Shampo also complete the task, but I want to ask you, please modify this way. These are the more proper one. Otherwise statement. Now, this is a switch case based operations. Please check it. I give you one or two minutes here and then switch to others. Right. So this actually have one option. Now uh, yes, sir. let's do the other things. It's okay, some uh, so now I go with uh, some other things. Uh, another example I'm going to show you. Suppose a, a equals to given 8 and b equals to given 2. And if it is written So here we write another code. So here is written switch case some different V. So let's know. Can you tell me what actually the output of this program? Can you get what is the output of this program? Everyone should try. Sir, Bolbo. Kolkata. 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 I have a chance with Kolkata. Why? Can I can have zero as well? I can zero as well? Can A be a take a borrow actually? So that he have a name true Hutchena. Exactly. Exactly. So 
MATLAB also support a Boolean expressions. And if uh, conditions are not true, it's return zero. If conditions are true, then return one. So in this case, A is smaller than B is not a true. So let's go with a zero and return Kolkata. So if uh, it's written this, then what happened? If it's written this way, then what happened? India. India, sir. Why? কলকাতার দিল্লি ইন্ডিয়া হবে In C language, uh, what can we understand by single equals to and double equals to? What is the big difference between them? What actually is the difference between equals to and double equals to? Sir, double equal to is used when we check something and single equal to is used when we assign the value. So here we use a double equals to. So, so sir, we are not assigning something. Means uh, lots of students are saying that a both of getting the two value. So it's not happened here. It's not an assignment. It's a comparison. Right. Yes, sir. So what is the output now? India. Why India? Sir, because yeah, uh, Kolkata, we are Kolkata, checking. Kolkata. Yeah. So is it clear or again I have some doubts? I think lots of students have a doubt. So A equals to equals to B. So is it a true statement or false statement? false false so why it goes to false statement again kolkata zero case zero mm -hmm. right so now let me all answer if it is written this way then what actually the answer the delhi yeah only one so all of you please confirm what is the answer delhi yeah so now in this case what happened condition is true as it's a go with a return one and so it's go with a delhi so this is your properties of a switch case now last time whatever code we write for our so just go with this, check this thing, just complete this thing, write down yourself and check it once. I give you a little bit of time, just check it. So then we go with the next problem.
So next, uh, we go with the next task. So hopefully all of you check. Okay, I give you one minute of time to check these things, this code, whatever we write. So now we're going to check if we want to represent something graphically. Wow, how we represent it. Right, if we represent something graphically, how we represent it. That means we actually check now. So last time we learned the term that is uh, we use a equals to input. And here we write something. Enter the number. Now, rather than using this uh, input, we use another thing that is input DLG. So how it works this input DLG? So let's check. A equals to input DLG. So L is missing. So Y, it's throwing error. So this is the input DLG. That will open this kind of window. Is it clear? That yes, will open. Yeah, so rather than providing the input into this command window, we may go with this. If we write something and OK, it stored this 76 value into E. So this actually input DLG. But the thing is that the value whatever stored into E, that's a little bit different one. That is a string type. So we need to convert it into integer. So how we convert it into integer? For that, we need to write some code. So what code we need to write? We need to write here. So the thing is, this is a string type. So we need to convert str to double. Right, so V equals to SCR to double. So A input dialog box, so SCR to double we convert, then if we check a V value, now it's simply convert into integer. Is it clear? So what is the input dialog box? So you may put input into graphical window. So can you, so again, uh, if you go with this input dialog box, it have a number of properties. After putting comma, if you write, result, and then we write here number. So this actually comes this way, right? And the thing is that, uh, so nine number of, so what is the meaning of this? This nine number of uh, things are there and this result actually showing here in this location. So this way you can customize your message box and whatever information you store, it actually only come as a String, just check it. If anyone have any query regarding that, ask me.
Yeah. So yes, sir. now, can you take this? Uh, what I would say, additions code we write. Can you take uh, write this uh, code? Uh, that way that all the values it will take as an input using this input dialog box. And make additions. And put the results. So please try everyone and share with me. So whatever the program you write, you need to take input information using string. Using this input dialog box. And if we able to provide this uh, program output using uh, some graphical information, so we then no need to go with the command line. So can we able to display the thing? To display the information, we have a, another option that is MSG box. So MSG box. And then whatever we write within this. That will appear in a box. So this is actually a message box. MSG box. Now. This MSG box, if you want to additionally mention something like and then Okay, just a minute. Yeah. So the thing is that when you go with that, these are the things. This icon is coming. If you put any icon in this location, here we write an error icon that is appeared here. Then whatever we write here, this change this information and the call it. Whatever we write second position, that's suppose the Right, just check it. So try it, provide me the response, answer. Check it, yes. and understand. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so now can we provide the result into this message box? Can we be able to display the result into message box? Uh, let's try. So suppose A equals to, so I clear the screen. Now, 
now we write the things okay so first we need to clear it so we write a e equals to six some values now we want to print into message book msg box is it work let's check it's not working it throws it off because this uh, graphical interface only support characters so we need to convert this information into characters so for that what we need to write we need to write within that formatted string is print f to formatted string then we write this things percent d or percent things whatever the things are there comma this a okay my mistake what if the issue if uh, sorry that should be a sprint if a sprint if person a a again okay i again forget to close of that yeah so now it's return the value right a sprint if i again show the things a sprint if person d again and again i make a mistakes right so it will return the values right so this way we take the we can able to print the string we format a string that we print and provide some results So, can you easily write this code using graphic? So we can able to make this total calculated with things graphically. Can you able to make this everything graphically? Total uh, this code. We don't need to go into this. Uh, we don't need to go into any. command from we get everything can you able to write the code i give you 5 minutes time
are you trying do you understand my questions yes i'm trying okay okay i wait So I wait another one minute and then I will show you. So try to complete it within the meantime. Okay, so now I'm showing the results, how we go with this. So uh, here we write an input DLG. Here we also write the things input DLG. Here we also write the things input DLG. Now question is that it is all things we need to convert into string. So x equals to str2 double we need to write here e So this is actually x. Now we need to write the two numbers. We want to add this two. So we write here s equals to um, y plus z. Or we may write here now we write the things that is msg box s print f f 
formatted string s so this way we write the first case so obviously all the cases should be the same way we need to write is to this case three case four Right, this way you need to write. So, if you go with this, enter the first operation, whatever you want to do. Suppose we want to add two number, first number, second number, provide the result. So, everything we find in this way. Is it clear? So, just go with this and confirm me whenever it's done please share with me so this way we made totally a graphical user interface based task we can able to do So complete it. Just a minute. So another thing we need to write obviously if we not write it's not a proper one because it's incomplete otherwise
मिल सकता Yeah, done. So uh, this is actually a way how we uh, represent a complete, a very basic types of kinds of calculation or calculus. But now, still we don't like this way. That is, uh, this line I have not liked too much. So I want to replace it. So how we replace, we go with another command. So I go with another command. That is, uh, k equals to, we write the menu. This is a new command, menu. We go with this command menu and now within that we write the thing first is that calc we write so calculator we want to make then whatever the things are there suppose we write here plus if i make here minus if we go here into or first is division and again we write here right so these are the things that are there this way we write what line so what actually outcome of this so let's check why it's coming this way so if you check this actually whatever we write first this actually appear this way so when we write a menu that means it's open a menu like window and very first is that title of this thing. So CLC, we very first we write, and then whatever the things we pass as an argument, these are the a single single window, a button or tab is there. So if we want to perform plus operation, if we click on this first one, it's return one. Same way, whatever the things we return, it's return that value. So if we go with the third one, if we click, so it's return three, right? If we go with the fourth one, it's return four so this way is return so can we so is it clear so how it works yes, so can you replace the very first line using this one or all the input dialog box using this one That actually very simple. We just need to write this way. Just like call all existing window. So we want to replace it. How we replace? X equals to We write here. So the last line, what would we write? We write the same thing. This one. Now this, how we replace this Y?
so this way Right, this way we write this whole thing. So, this is the things. Let's run it. We want to go with the minus operations. Go with the 7 minus 4 as a return state. So, this way we will completely convert this one. Another approach we may take. Sir, I take to ये तो देखें inboxे. Inboxе क्या नो? ये तो छोटा line तो ये तो आगे तक भी लिखा था कि उटा ये तो तुम्हारे चले आज भी. दो दिन तो line तो. ठीक है ठीक है. it's done right so yes, anyone have any question then i will otherwise i will ask something i give you some task is it clear to everyone so uh, i give you a task that is please uh, if you understand it try to make this thing is became uh, more easier for you that is uh, in a restaurant, there is a menu card. Or the same is automatic tailor or vending machine also be there in a market. So you may, uh, the concept is also be the same. So where you have this way, so this uh, is here is written menu card. And then there's a four items are there. Four different items are there. So there's the items like a tea, coffee, like tea, coffee, uh, cold drinks this kind of items are there four items are there right it's here written like a tea here it's written uh, water here it's written like a milk now anyone if hit on this tea it's written the price of the tea in a message box that is 10 someone click on water it's a return the value 5 
समान प्रीकंड पे इस रिटर्न द वैल्यू ट्वेंटी सो दिस वे कैन यू एवल टू राइट द कोड फॉर दैट यूजिंग स्विच केस एंड दिस मेनू एंड फंक्शन दिस यूजिंग मेनू एंड मैसेज बॉक्स स्टेटमेंट यू नीड टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट इज इट क्लियर माय क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर कैन यू एवल टू राइट द कोड so the thing is that in a restaurant there is the same kind of a menu box menu where three items is there one is tea second one is water and third one is milk so when someone click on tea it's return the price of this milk uh, tea within this uh, message box same way for water and milk so can you able to write this code is it clear or may i need to repeat it Is it clear or may I need to repeat it? As I clear, they have just a watch. Yeah, try.
शेयर्ड ब Sampot. Asar pone ekta patala hoy thik kore. Acha. So these lines are not re required. I think you remove these two lines only. And let's check. Run it. So T. Let's set on price. With the milk at return price. So this is actually a way we may consider how we make a simple vending machine, right? So this about a switch case and uh, some of the use of this graphical user interface. Now we go with the uh, another thing. This is a if else. If else, uh, we use this uh, things every language, and we have a good idea how we use. So the same way we write here, no changes are there. Here less than suppose ten, then print. So here we need to write f print f try. Else, uh, if if good, so someone getting less than ten, we write for them. Try otherwise, it's good. This is a very simple statement. How we execute if else. So we may go with the user input. We may go to the user input and we may check it. Is it uh, working or not? We may go with this. We may check it how it working or not. Right. Enter the number. So if we write a 88, it's a good. And if we write a less than, okay, it's throwing error. So what is the error it's throwing? Let's check. Uh, if a less than 10, uh, why is throwing error? Four. Undefined function a printf. Let's check. A p r i n t. Okay, okay. I forget to t is missing here, so why seven? So if I write here two, it's return try. So the same way we may here also write the same way into d l g box g. And a equals to str two 
डबल ई वन सो वी प्रिंट इट हियर एम एस जी बॉक्स एंड हियर वी आल्सो प्रिंट द सेम थिंग यूजिंग एम एस जी बॉक्स राइट सो if we write as 76 and click on okay is it on good if we run it here writes only to as return try so this way we may write the code so this is clear if fails okay So try it and let me know is working or not. so please complete it and whenever it's done let me know it's done or not yes sir it's done okay so i give you another task so uh, if you uh, need to check uh, more than one conditions you may write this way ampersand ampersand and additional conditions you may write here suppose e greater than something this way you may put it so write this uh, this way conditions so this is not a value so this way we may add a condition so can you even write the code if uh, someone getting more than 80% it print outstanding someone get more than 60% and then it's print a uh, average and someone get a uh, less than 60% it's print a uh, fail so please try to write down these things using this if else statement right is it clear my question is clear to all of you <laughs> i give you 5 minutes of time yes, I'm back within five minutes.
Is it done? Yes, sir, done. Devo? Yeah, share it. Okay, let's uh, check. Is it working or not? So these are the things that are here. Let's run it, check it. If someone getting more than 80, uh, so let's check if I write a 98, is it an outstanding? If I return 60, then, okay. So there is one small mistake. Uh, 60 is achieved, still showing fail. Uh, no, so that equal to lagata over there. Yes, exactly. More than equal so to 56. Let's check. Okay. Let's go with uh, 66. Average. Okay. So all the cases are okay. Fine. So it's working, just one point is there. So this way we go with this. If a statement. Now let me uh, share who actually someone actually want to share second half project. Uh, so some of the group asking me first of that uh, they want to showcase their task second half. I think uh, analog clock and calculator. So now, uh, are you able to share these things? Sir, can I share you in, uh, in the next class tomorrow? So then it will be completed. Uh, what is the status of your, uh, I mean, sir, can you share the status of your task? Uh, sir, we are trying, we are just, we want some, some things are left. Uh, it will be done by tomorrow. Uh, what is your, your project, sir? Is it a Analog clock? Yeah. Yes, sir. Clock. And calculator team, who actually want to make a calculator? Calculator? Sir, we are all are also share tomorrow, sir. The project is not done yet. Yet not done. OK. Yes, sir. OK, and uh, group number six, uh, whatever the projects I tell you, are you comfortable with that? Or you find something else? Anyone is there from group number six? Yes, sir. Yeah, what, so do go with our, whatever the projects I tell you, do go with that or you prefer to go with some different? Yes, yes, sir, but if you discuss some, something about it, it will what, what actually kind of discussion you want? Means you need to plot a different, different graph, like a simply, I mean, uh, what is the meaning of this? So if we have a very simple things, uh, just to show you. So uh, amplitude equals to input enter the, sorry. So enter the value here. You need to write an amplitude value. You need to enter here. So amplitude. So we define it by E. So E is missing. E input enter now frequency or phase so P equals to phase uh, you need to mention say input so some of you need to provide the input in phase phase right phase 
So this way you go it and uh, just simply you need to plot what you need to plot x equals to 0 0 to some value y equals to a dot into sine x plus e. So phase is here, right? So this way it will make effects. Now plot x comma y. So this is actually the thing. So what happened in this case, whatever the value enters, suppose you write down here, uh, phase, uh, amplitude, amplitude you write suppose 5 and phase you write suppose 30. Right, it will make this, this shifting is there. So it's a little bit shifted sine wave. So this way you need to make a graph, comparing graph. And the thing is that what happened in general case, whatever the, you learn in next semester that is a modulation. So carrier and massive signal. So what happened that's generally Whatever the information we pass, that is, suppose I write a hello. This hello is actually converted into some digital form and it passing throughout the channel. And uh, the thing is the same way uh, when we consider the waveform, uh, when we put a one small paper on a on a water, means, uh, means a vibrating water, this, uh, pay, this uh, paper will vibrating according to the water level. The same thing happens when we go with our signal and communication. When something we pass throughout the channel, the thing is that whatever we talk, whatever our value, the main message is very uh, limited power to sustain. So we add there some carrier signal to move across the path. Right, so the same thing you may consider when we want to throw a paper a long distance, we can't. We add one stone chip, stone, and then pack and throw the paper, it will go longer distance. The so same thing happened when we talk. Our voice don't sustain to go up a number of kilometers of distance. We know that whatever I saying you, whatever the teaching you, my voice is limited. It can't be reached if you are in 100 meter away from me. But it possible how that signal carried by your carrier, right? So that things we need to show. So that way I ask you to go with the modulation. That actually things. So you need to multiply. So modulation equation. So you need to, I ask you to go with some of the equation. So as you don't go with, I ask you to find out this modulation equation. Equation of signal equation. So you need to, find out you need to solve this equation right i ask you please choose some equation and solve it and as you don't solve it so i give you so uh, i ask you to go with this equation and solve it using matlab right so solve it now is it okay so everything is clear to you Yes, group number six. So uh, the thing is that that is totally your choice. I actually guide you. Yes, you need to follow this path and complete it. But 
small bit of good skill you can put. If you put, you can able to do the things. So this you need to plot, solve in MATLAB, and you need to plot using MATLAB. Clear? Okay, sir. Try it. If you're not able to do that, then just find out something different and let me know what is your condition. But you must need to try something. If you don't try anything, that is very difficult for us to find out. Right. So try it. So is it clear? Hopefully. So just go with this and try to. So same way, whatever the things in your syllabus, you may go with any of the topics and try to find out the solutions. That is my first target. So today, till now, whatever we things covered, first is we go with the very basic things with the detail. Uh, lots of things are possible in fields, but we don't go with that. We uh, stick with the basics of fields, low. And I expect that by tomorrow, uh, most of the groups actually able to complete basic parts. Then I show you tomorrow graphical user interface. You need to implement it using this graphical user interface. Your project you need to represent using this. That actually the thing. So tomorrow you can be able to complete at least first phase. Then I go with the second phase. And uh, fifth day, we we'll discuss how we write a project report. What are the things we need to follow and how you prepare your PPTs. Some points I will highlight you. And then uh, next day, sixth day, you need to present that all. Right. Now, go with this. Uh, now we need to discuss another topic today that is function so uh, why we need a function function actually we use to ease our task writing of a code so the thing is that some of the part of our code like this addition of a two number we need several times within our code, but this uh, it may be not an addition, it may be some of the mathematical tasks that we need several times throughout my code. So how we code this thing? To code this, so it's not a preferable to code the same line repeatedly. It increases uh, memory, it, it increases uh, number of line of a code as we will acquire more memory location of our code and make programs slower so what we want we want to make whatever the things we need to repeat we make a function of them and we call it so function to overtake the repetitive process and some of the cases we hide the internal information in capsule uh, the thing is that we uh, suppose we here in matlab there is a two kinds of function one is that predefined function another is a user defined function till now whatever we discuss function these all are the predefined functions so you may have a question where we use function till now can you tell me which functions till now we use? Can you give me some example of a function that we use till now? Directly a predefined function. Any idea? Any guessing? Yes. Plot. Exactly. Plot, print, display. These all are the functions actually. So we already use it. But we may also design our own function in MATLAB. It's possible. How we design? That things we learn. So two way, two types of functions are there in MATLAB. One is predefined, 
another is user defined so how we write a user defined functions let's uh, try to write that things so to write a function we need to start this way function first we need to write a function and what are the output of a function that we mentioned next? So output one of the functions we need to mention next. Next, we need to write down function name, sorry. name name of the functions and then what are the input of the functions so let's you have a me have a question so The thing is that how we go with the function. So, uh, so these are the inputs. So we write more specifically input. Input to this way we write in number of functions. So function name. So when we write a function name, we need to remember function name should not be the existing conflict with the existing keyword or function. So that's a very important function name must not be conflict with means must not be same as existing function name or keyword. And input one and input two, these are the inputs. So n number of inputs we may write. So now we need to write some operations. So how we get an output one? We just write an operation for input one plus input two. So we want to write a code for adding two number. That functions we want to write by ourselves. <laughs> so we write this way. And we need to write an int. So function name one, it should, but the thing is that when we going to save this function, we must need to save, save function using existing function. The, but the, when we going to save the function, function should be saved with the same name. Right, must be a same name. So whatever the function name is there, that must be the same we need to save the same way right if we don't save it it throws the error now whenever we write the same name save using a same name then only it's remove this red letter mark so this is actually a process of writing function so we are making a function name of this function is function name one and that function actually we designed to add two numbers Right, is it clear? Anyone have any questions? Anyone have any questions? Sir, what is the case? What is the yeah, how we use it. So let's uh, say we already save it and now we run it. So whenever first time we run it, it throws an error. Now, if I want to use it, so I already create a function. That function name is function underscore name one. And that actually go for adding to number. So how we use it. To use it, we may directly use from here. May write 
f u n c so the name we need to write and within that we need to pass two parameter we need to know the parameter of a function so two parameters so we write here suppose 23 and 65 enter it it provides the result so the thing is that uh, whatever function we write it work fine and it provides the additional result is it clear yes sir clear so just make a function for additions and uh, let me <coughs> check it is it working or not go with the process and let me know is it done or not Whenever it's done, please inform. Save Okay, so function you must need to save using the same name and function name must not be conflict with the existing function name or keyword. So you never save it as a sum. You never save it as a add. You never save it as a multiplication because this all have some functional keyword. So whenever you, I mean, it's a best practice to write this way, taste one, taste two, taste three, or uh, some one, two, three, this way, you need to save. And then whatever the code you write, you need to save using this file. If you already save, click on the save as and save using the name, proper name. What is the function name? You need to write the same name. Is it clear? And click on save button.
ना माइक नहीं C program is MATLAB. So uh, you don't have a permission to save uh, location, contact, and okay, okay. Ah, uh, इखाने एक ता जीनिस तुम्हार के इखाने save को तो दिच्छे ना ता जब yes करो yes करो देखी first yes करो yes कर ले उन्ना जगह चले अच्छे ये Windows की ये जगह चले ये बार इटा के की कोत्ता है तुम्हाके इटा के program टके save मतलब एक ता के copy कोडे देखे तो रान कर Undefined function or variable. देखो नाम है किसी भूल करो चो. Function f u n c underscore n a m e one. F u n c underscore n a m e one. Uh, run करो एक बार इटा के. इटा के एक बार run करो. ना ना. Pass it. हाँ. Add to path. हाँ. एक बार देखो तो आगे line टा. अच्छा Let me know. <coughs> Trying, sir. Okay, it's working. Right. So if it's working, then fine. And now again, I show the thing. So now, how we uh, write a multi? So here, one operations we do. How we go with the multiple operations? So that thing is important. So for that thing, just a minute, I share my screen again. It's the screen sharing option is not coming. 
Yeah. So now I want to go with the multiple operations. So here, first one is output one. More than one output we want to get from my function. So how we go with that? So not necessarily you need to write an output to here. Anything you can write. To better understand this concept, we write an output one, output two. Even you can write here some and subtraction. Suppose we want to go with this. You may write this way also. And in space of input and input two, you may write the things also A and B. And not necessarily you need to write these things in name one and this. You may here write a anything. Right. So we write here sum equals to A plus B and sub equals to A minus B. Now if we run it, okay. Again, it throws the error first and then it will work. So now if I run the same code again, it provides two answers. So first one is the addition, second one is subtraction. So this way, more than one operation we can perform through my function. So this is the code. Is it clear? Just check it. If, you found, if your functions have more than one outcomes, you may go with this approach, not more, not two only. In number of approach outputs, you may go with this. Check it and inform me whenever it's done. So if it is done, uh, let me know it's done or not.
So please complete it and let me know. So working or not. Sir, yes. sir, 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 please, assignment does it at Chilo, sir, waited to sir, but group at the event, sir. Assignment to Ami, we have mentioned Korea, I'm going to get Jikuno problem. Huh? To what the group with you to love me, we have a Jikuno problem after solve put the words. Just to mother, she is a heart. Assignment are the Jikuno actor equation solve put the bullets. On a specific piece of bullets. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, others Jane? Question. Okay. Others Jane? Present, sir. Present, sir. Aman Shao? Present, sir. Onuva Mukherjee? Present, sir. Orko Mukhopadhyay? Orko Mukhopadhyay? Orko Prabhu Basu? Present, sir. Orpon Shane. Present, sir. Devashish Acharya. Devashish Acharya. Devashi Shacharya? Sir, Orko present, Orko Mukhaji present, Mukhaji is a present, I mean, my sir, I can't get to Okay. Orko Mukhaji. Nilashish Kundu? Present, sir. Present sir, present sir. Pallavi Kumari. Present. Pallavi. Sir. Yes. 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 Rakesh Tiwari. Yes, sir. Shanton Dotto Shanton Dotto Shoho Mitro Present, sir. Present, sir. Sunu Kumar Prasad Present, sir. Shomo Chakraborty. Present, sir. Shubhana Pal. Shubhana Pal. Shubham Ghosh. 
Listen, sir. Shubhamoy Mondol. Present, sir. Suraj Kumar Shao. Suraj Kumar Shao. Shwagatam Kumar Pan. Shwagatam Kumar Pan. Present, sir. Present, sir. Tom Rodeep Sinha. Present, sir. Yes, Swagatam present, sir. Swagatam present, Chaya hoi se to. Torita Banerji. Toritra Banerji. Toritra Banerji. Akash Vishas. Yes, sir. Ari Fosen. Present, sir. Goiri Dotto. Present, sir. Okay, Shonu Kumar Shao present, right? Let me check. Shonu Kumar. So, Suraj Kumar Shao. Suraj Kumar Shao. Suraj Kumar Shao. Hori Hirabro Pole. Hirabro Pole. Mama Diza Ahmed. Mama Diza Ahmed. Minmoy Hosh. Yes, sir. Priyanka Sarkar. Present, sir. Sampot Pan. Yes, sir. Santon De. Santon. Yes, sir. Shayok Sarkar. Yes, sir. Somo Palui. Somo Palui. Okay. So, anyone left to provide attendance? Is there anyone? Is there anyone? Sir, Somo Ache, Somo Mike Katskotsena. Sir, Somo Palui Ache, Mike Katskotsena. Okay. First up, someone asking me that uh, not able to provide attendance. Who? Let me know. Yes, first up, someone asking me that uh, not able to provide attendance. Is there now? Is he or she now present? Okay. So. Uh, Today we go with the things like a uh, second half we go with the functions. If else and switch case and static GUI. If you have any question from this field. If anyone have any questions or so last 10 minutes is there. If anyone have any questions, uh, please ask me. And uh, please, everyone, complete the assignment. And showcase to me. One of you already showed assignment. I request rest of the five group, please complete the assignment. And group number six, please follow the things. Try to find out whatever tasks I provide you. Are you able to solve it or not? Right, everyone try to go with your project little bit. How whatever you able to complete. If it's complete, then fine. Whatever you able to complete, please complete it and showcase it to me next class. 
so this actually a 50 percent of the class over 15 hours is over and another 15 hours is there within that you need to present complete project showcase report and we need to complete lots of things so that's all uh, for today from my side if you have question ask me otherwise you may leave this session sir bolche ppt ta last din jama dite hobe to ha last din thik ache ar kal ke apni bole deben je ppt kibhabe korte hobe kibhabe ki korte hobe sob bole debo ebong not necessary last din dekha jak ekta presentation to dite hobe ppt ta ha last din lagbe presentation dite giye Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you.